Let's take this sucker off of here. Okay, I did custom supports on this instead of letting it auto generate. Well, actually, I did I'll take that back. I let it auto generate the bottom. So these are all auto generated supports here. What I find really interesting is it still puts the brim how I have it set up outside even though it still puts supports you would think it would go all the way around the outside however I did change and I did these upper supports all manually it wanted to put a ridiculous amount of supports in here so I do have some weird little stringies here but in general the supports all printed 
and there's a, a few little issues uh, and you can see down here it's a little thin but the flippers actually it looks like there's a little little gap in there right where it got to the top of that that layer but anyway that's not really that important as this is more of a test of the supports so I use Simplify 3D because look look how easily these supports come off of here it is just wonderful how easy Simplify 3D's support systems break off. I've had others with uh, Slicer and Kira. I actually tried to print this with Kira and it failed. It would not complete. And with Slicer, it printed, but I couldn't get the supports off and ended up snapping this whole base off, which you can see is actually very 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 thin down here it's just the dolphin is barely on there and you can wiggle it and it moves so let's break these bottom supports off of here so we can see the rest find it easier in some of these situations to actually get in the support and snap them off and send pieces flying at my dog. <laughs> what the hell is that? But you can see that I'm not really putting any significant effort into getting these supports to come off I'm just I need that with my giant ass hands I can't get in there to take them off any other way except using the smaller needle nose pliers but now we're getting into the last little bits here and there's always a little bit of cleanup. I don't think you're ever going to have something that prints with supports that you'll be able to break them off and have them not leave little, little bits here and there. That's just how it works. It's got to make contact somewhere. And I'd rather have a little contact rather than none, and then it fail, and I end up wasting filament. Well, let's see. And I will put a link to the thing, because this is, I'm pretty sure this is another Thingiverse thing I downloaded. I'm not, <laughs> not exactly sure. Somebody wanted a dolphin and asked me if I could make a dolphin, so I, I did. Let me clear off all this. I have a box of recycled stuff, which I dropped a piece. I don't know where it went. Now, there it is. And uh, so I'm not throwing all this away. I'm going to keep it. Because it is, uh, it's all PLA, and I don't have very many failed prints, but I do have a decent amount of crap. So this is the finished dolphin. And if it'll stand up, there we go. And find my ruler. What do I do with my ruler? I've lost my ruler. There's my ruler. Yeah, 
lunch stay here. So we've got about what 13 and a half centimeters tall, which isn't too bad. A little over five, five and a half, five and a quarter inches. Not all that wide, but in this filament, it's actually quite pretty. And this is the Maker Geeks translucent blue filament that came in the April Geek Box. Uh, but the blue, I'm not sure what that and what caused that line across there. It almost looks like the fins did a shift, but nothing else did because it's smooth. But it also could be me doing my my support structure needs some tweaking. But you can see it's it's translucent and looking through it you can actually you can see the support structure. It's, it's 10, 10 or 15 percent infill. I think it's 10. So it's not a whole lot, but the the infill actually makes it look like it has some like dimension to it, some texture to it. So it, it's interesting. But I like the model. Again, I'll link to it in the description. Um, and yeah, that's about it.